Hello and welcome back to Rongmar. In today's maths lesson, we're taking a look at some capacity problems. Our world for today is to solve addition and subtraction problems that involve capacity. But first, let's warm up. I'm going to show you an item. And you're going to tell me whether the next item is going to have a larger or a smaller capacity. See if you can make it all the way to the end without getting any wrong. Are you ready? Okay, here is your first item. It's a 500 mil full of Coke. You could probably tell by now I like Coke because it's come up in every single capacity lesson. Do you think the next container is going to hold more or less than 500 mils? Pause the video, write down your answer. Well, our second container is a one liter carton of milk, so it is a larger container. What about the next one? Do you think our next container is going to have a larger or a smaller capacity than this one liter carton? Pause the video and write down your guess. Well, our next container is a lot smaller because it is a teaspoon at only five milliliters capacity. So from the teaspoon, do you think our next container is going to have a larger or a smaller capacity than this? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, our next container is a coffee mug at 350 mils. It is definitely a larger capacity. So far, so good. What about the next one? Do you think it's going to be a smaller or a larger capacity than this mug? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, our next container is this barrel of oil, which is 160 liters. So it is much, much larger capacity than our last mug. Two more. You've got them all right so far. Hang in there. You're nearly at the end. Next one. Do you think the next container is going to be larger or smaller than this 160 liter barrel? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, our next container is this two liter of milk. It is smaller in capacity than our barrel. One last one. If you're still with me, hang in there. Only one left to get right. We're on two liters. Do you think the next container is going to be smaller capacity or a larger capacity? Pause the video and write down your answer. Well, our final container is this super glue container, and it's smaller at five milliliters. If you got all of them all the way to the end, well done. You are definitely ready for today's lesson. Okay, today we are going to be doing a couple of addition and subtraction problems using everything that we know about capacity. You're going to need to remember back to the last two lessons to help you with some of these. Are you ready? All right, let's jump into this. Here is our first problem. If I had a jug that was filled with 300 milliliters of water and I poured out 150 milliliters, how much is left in the jug? Pause the video and see if you can figure out how to solve this one. Well, any time we're solving a word problem, the most important thing for us to do is to figure out what they actually want us to solve. That's the hardest part of word problems. It's figuring out what they're asking you. This is actually quite an easy sum, as long as you can see it in the words. So the important information is we had a full jug of 300 mils and we poured out 150 mils. That's all we need. Everything else is just extra information that we can ignore. Let's turn that information into a sum. We have 300 mils and we poured out 150 mils, so that's going to be a takeaway sum. And our answer when we do it out is 150 mils. That's how much water we had left in the jug. If you got that, give yourself a tick. You're one out of one. And let's go on to the second one. Oh God, I don't like heights. This swimming pool has got a capacity of 1,000 liters. I checked how much water was in the pool before I jumped in, 
and there were only 860 litres. How many more litres do I need to put in to fill the pool? First of all, before you start, see if you can pick out the important information in this word problem. Pause the video and see if you can find just the most important pieces of information. Well, these are the important pieces of information we need to solve the sum. So, the pool should be at 1000 litres, but it's only got 860 litres, so we need to figure out how many more litres. Hmm. Let's change this into a sum that we know how to solve. So we know that the pool should have 1000 litres. We take away the 860 litres that are already in there, and we're left with 140 litres that we need to put in. So our answer is 140 litres. If you got that one, give yourself another tick, and let's move on to number three. Ooh, sugar rush. My friend can drink 500 millilitres of coke without breathing. I can drink 750 millilitres of coke without breathing. How much can we drink together without breathing? Before you start, same again, see if you can pick out the important information in this word problem. Pause the video and see if you can find them. Did you get them? So the important information is my friend's 500 mils, my 750 mils, and this word here, together. So they want us to put those two numbers together to get a bigger number. Pause the video now and solve the problem. Okay, so we changed it into a sum that we were able to work with. We have my 750 mils and my friend's 500 mils. We put them together with an addition sum and we get 1,350 milliliters. Give yourself a tick if you got it and let's go on to the next one. Ugh, it's heavier than it looks. I filled my watering can with one litre of water, but by the time I'd made it to the flower bed, some of it had spilled. There was only 620 millilitres left. So how much water did I lose on the way? Same again. Pause the video and see if you can find the most important information in this question. Well, the key pieces of information are the one liter that was in the watering can, the word spilled, because that tells us what type of sum we're going to do, and 620 milliliters that's left in the can. Okay, pause the video and try to solve this one yourself. Let's turn this into a sum that we recognize. So, my 1000 milliliters, it's the same as one liter, remember that fact? Take away the 620 milliliters that is still in the can, and that tells me that there is 380 milliliters somewhere in the garden, probably in a puddle. So that's your answer, 380 mils. Give yourself a tick if you got that one correct, and let's go on to the next one. I am a thirsty fella. Today I drank all of these drinks down below already, and it's only the morning time. How many milliliters of liquid have I had all together? Same again, pause the video, see if you can pick out the important pieces of information that you're going to need to solve this sum. So here are the key pieces of information. We need all of these figures down here, 350 mils, 1 litre, and 1750 milliliters. We also need the word all together, because that tells us what type of sum we're going to be doing. It's going to be an addition sum. Pause the video and see if you can solve this sum. Don't forget to change your one litre into milliliters to make it easy. So here's the sum we should have got. 1,750 from the coke, 1,000 from the milk, 350 mils from the coffee cup. When we add them all, remembering to carry our ones at 3,100 milliliters. So that is your answer. Give yourself a tick if you got it, and let's go on to the last question of the day. I've saved the hardest till the end. So, I have filled up my imaginary car, because I don't have one, with 50 litres of petrol on a Sunday. On Monday, I used 5 litres to drive to the shops. 
On Tuesday, I used 12 litres to drive to work. And on Wednesday, I used 3 litres to drive to the park. How much petrol do I have left in my tank? So this is a big multi-step sum. See if you can find all the important pieces of information that we're going to need for this sum. Pause the video and give it a try when you're ready. So here were the important pieces of information that we needed. I started off with 50 litres. I used 5 litres. I used 12 litres. And I used 3 litres. So that word used tells us that the number is going down and down and down, which is a takeaway sum. Here's what it looks like when we change it into a sum. We have multiple sums to solve this time. Start off with our first day. We had 60 and we used 5 litres, so that'll bring us down to 55. On the second day, we used 12 litres. So 55, that's left, take away 12, will bring us down to 43 litres. And on the last day, we used another 3 litres. We take that away, we're left with 40 litres in the tank. So that is our answer, 40 litres. Give yourself a huge tick if you got that one, because that one was tricky. So that's it. Remember, when you're trying to solve these word problems, try to only pick out the important information. And really try to understand what the question is actually asking you to do. Don't guess because there will be a lot of trick questions out there. So our waltz for today was to solve addition and subtraction problems that included capacity. You're ready to try the practice activities down below. That's all we have time for today. Until next time, take care.